What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to add floor framing by adding girders and beams in our structural model. So this is the same model that we are working on since uh, day one. So this is now how it looks like. Okay, so let's go to the first floor and then we are going to add some uh, girders or steel girders. All right, so let's do this. So from the structure tab, structure panel i'm gonna select here the beam so click this one and then from the properties we will be selecting here uh, w460 by 52 uh, wide flange okay so i'm gonna select this one and then here on the options bar i'm gonna make sure that the chain here is check okay and then we are now going to place our uh, beams or steel girders okay so let's do this i'm going to pick the intersection of my uh, b1 you see the b1 grid this one here so let's just pick that so we check the chain here so that we can continuously create our beams okay so let's click that one and then i'm gonna click here p1 and up to c1 and as you can see our uh, beam tool is still active because the chain here is checked. So we are going to continuously place it on our D1, uh, E1, uh, F1, and G1. Okay? Right, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is another way of placing our beam aside from using the line tool, which is what we have done, is I'm going to use here on grids. Okay, so let's click the on grids and then we need to select now the grid where we want to place our uh, beam. So let's say I want to place that on my grid D. Okay, so I'm going to click the grid D. When you click that one, so you will see here there is the preview of our uh, beam, right? So we have the three beams here created. Now you need to select your finish for you to be able to place it. Okay, so don't forget. So, so click finish and there you go so you now have your beam so that is what we are going to do also on our grids efg okay so to do that i'm going to select the on grids <clears throat> and then let's use crossing selection that means pre um, picking selecting from right going to the left okay so that is the uh, crossing selection so i'm going to pick from right going to the left like that and there you go again don't forget to select finish and there you go okay so let's do that as well on our uh, e and four so let's click uh, three and four sorry so let's click on grids so let's use crossing selection from right going to the left so from right going to the left like that there you go there's the preview of our beams and then just select here finish okay right and maybe let's do that as well on our grid too so on grids and then let's click our grid too there you go okay and then just select finish here to place it Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place another grid here. So let's use the line tool. I'm going to pick here on my uh, D3. D3. So I click there. And then I'm going to place it here at the center line of this wall. Okay. So I'm going to place that to the center line of this wall. Click. And there you go. And then after that, I'll just select here, modify to terminate it. Okay. And let's do it let's do that here as well so click the beam let's click c1 and then let's place it here okay and then just select here modify so that's it okay so let's check that one out in our 3d view and this is now how it looks like okay all right, so let's go back to the first floor and let's add beams between our girders. So let's say I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to select the beam here 
and then I'm gonna use here uh, W310 by 387 wide flange so let me click this okay and then I'm gonna snap at the midpoint of this beam as you can see the midpoint is not showing so for you to be able to do that to snap at the midpoint just press the tab continuously there you go there's the midpoint so if you didn't uh, see the midpoint icon just press the tab continuously until it shows do not hold the tab okay just press it one by one okay so move our cursor midpoint not showing then press the tab once there you go so you click and then after that uh, press the tab to snap on midpoint continuously until it shows there you go and then click okay and then just press escape once so that the beam will not get terminated totally okay so let's do that in here as well so press tab there you go and then here as well press tab press tab press tab until it shows let's move our cursor somewhere near middle then press tab click and then escape okay so that's now our uh uh, beams okay right so just remember beam that runs between columns like this beam here it runs between columns right so this type of beam is called or classified as girders okay and beam runs between girders like this beam it runs between these two girders so it is classified as joist okay so now if you are going to create another uh, beam, let's say between the joist, so that is another uh, type of beam which is our uh, purlin, okay? So purlin, so this is our girders, this is our joist, and then if you create your beam, let's say I'm going to pick here, and then I put it on the perpendicular. So this is now a purlin. So just select modify. So this is a purlin. So as you can see, the line type there automatically changes as you place your beam because they have different classification. So just remember, beams that is between columns, they are classified as uh, girder. So beams that is between your girder, so this is classified as joist so beam classified between the joist this one that is classified as purlins okay so let's mirror this so let's select all of this and then let's use the mirror pick axis let's mirror to the other side and there you go okay so for your exercise you can just put completely all the uh, beams okay so let's go to the 3d view and there you go right so this is now the final exercise all right so on our next video i'm going to show you how to work with beams and beam system okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day